Hey everyone, it's Fatty Mansi from Real Results Fitness and in this video we're going to talk about whether you should put on size and gain muscle or whether you should go the opposite route and lose weight and cut fat. So for the majority of people I've noticed that they have a big, there's a big confusion on what they want versus what they actually do, okay, or how they want to look. Uh, so for example, when I ask people like, what do you want to do? What's your goals? What do you want to achieve? And they say, you know what? I, I feel like I have a lot of muscle. Um, I just need to shed uh, some weight or I want to tone up or I want to turn my weight from, you know, let's say it's a male that weighs 180. I want to be 180 and where I'm at right now, which is kind of chubby, but I want to be 180 and I want to be ripped. Fortunately, it doesn't work like that. Even when you're brand new, uh, if you're doing like a body recomp, it's it, more than likely you're gonna drop some weight along the way. Uh, what someone in this scenario wants to do is they actually wanna lose fat. Although they, in their head, or <clears throat> what they're thinking is that they wanna put on size and they wanna gain muscle. If you wanna put on size and gain muscle, you're gonna to have to be in a calorie surplus, all right? Now you can recomp, which we can make a whole different video, or maybe we'll talk about it later in this video. Um, but th to get from A to B, the quickest way, you wanna be in a calorie surplus, which means you're gonna be putting on some weight. Some of it can be uncomfortable weight, uh, some of it might be a little bit of fat, and that's okay, that comes along with it, but as long as you continue getting stronger in the weight room, which is the most important thing, uh, then you will gain some size, and you will gain some strength, and you'll build more muscle. But, that doesn't mean that you're gonna be ripped, shredded, same same exact weight or even 10 pounds heavier with and uh, shredded okay so that's not the way it works if you want to be shredded or if you want to see your abs or if you want to see more definition uh you want to be co uh, more comfortable in your clothing which is i would say what like 95 to 99 percent of the population wants okay they just they just word it differently you have to cut you have to lose that fat first and uh you know if you're a it's very rare when i don't recommend you to cut at least initially uh for your diet but i would say for the people that you don't that don't want to do that initially are probably teenagers unless you have a ton of weight to lose so um i'm talking about younger teenagers so if you're anywhere from I don't even know if people are starting to like bodybuild at this this early of an age yet, but if you're like, let's say 13 to 17 and um, you are extremely overweight, then yeah, you probably want to cut. But if you're 13 to 17, I would just ride out, man. Just make sure your protein intake is high, stay active, don't count calories, don't do anything like that at that young of an age. Uh, any, everyone else that says they want to tone, they want to be more comfortable in clothing, or they want to, um, I don't know, look good on the beach, anything like that, you want to cut. And with a cut, means that you're going to lose some weight. So stop, man, stop, like guys especially, I see it with guys more than more than women, especially for my, my clients. Uh, they freak out when they see the scale go down too fast or let's just let's just be upfront with it men you guys think you got a lot more muscle than you do but you don't however much weight you think that you have to lose you probably got to lose 10 to 15 pounds more than that to start seeing some significant progress i'm talking about like start seeing some some veins in the biceps uh you know some abs maybe a flat stomach get rid of that flab uh and for females you know it, it works very similar as well um but it's going to depend on your height and whatnot but if you do want to look more comfortable at the beach you want to feel more comfortable in your clothing then more than likely you're going to have to cut for everybody else um and i'm talking and this is Maybe 10% of people, the people that really take bodybuilding or their physique seriously, that's when you're gonna have to, uh, that's when I first suggest for you to recomp for a little bit and then start adding the calories so you can get stronger in the weight room so you have more energy in the weight room. Because at the end of the day, guys, calories are energy. So we wanna use that energy for good. 
We're gonna use it in the weight room so we can lift heavier, uh, but that's it. So, you know, like 95% of you guys, you guys need to cut first, okay? Even if it's your first time around, if you're skinny fat, I recommend cutting. If you, uh, if, if your belly is hanging over your, your waist, or sorry, if your belly is hanging over your pants, it's time to cut, all right? You might not look 100% like you want in the beginning of your, or the first time you cut, but next time around, every time you do it, you're gonna get that much better. So stop comparing yourself to what people look like in the magazines and whatnot. Everybody goes at their own pace, all right? Hope that helped. If you are still confused on whether you should cut or, or uh, put on muscle, you can email me down below. For those of you that don't know, I do online personal training. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to be following me. I'll put the link here or here, down low somewhere. Um, Facebook, Real Results Fitness 24. Uh, we are also on, uh, is it Stitcher? I think a Stitcher or uh, we're, we're, we're doing some iPod um, podcasting as well. So st whichever, which, whichever platform you do um, podcasting. So we're on iTunes, we're on Google, we're on every other one. I don't know all the platforms. So we just started on that. Uh, but make sure to follow me on there as well. And uh, if you're looking for some online coaching, I'll put the email down below and the website down below. And uh, I'll talk to you on the next video.